Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Terry again with a good book to read and we also have a craft with it. So be looking for the craft online after you read the book and come by and get your bag to make the craft. And before we get started though, I want to tell you that art classes for August are open. So please call the library phone number or come by and uh, sign up at the front desk. It's going to be lots of fun. You'll have all your materials and supplies that you need. We're going to do some neat, neat stuff. A lot of painting, a lot of drawing, and I think you'll love it. Just like we're going to do everything we did in real art class. Okay, so come by and sign up. But our book today is a great book. It's called How to Catch a Unicorn. And it's by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. So if we ever see a unicorn, which we don't see very many around where we live, and I think they're really magical, we may not see them at all ever, um, this is how we would catch one if we could. Let's find out what are they going to do to catch a unicorn. On this bright and shiny morning, I want something fun to do. So I'm riding on a rainbow and I'm heading to the zoo. Now this is the unicorn that's talking in this book, okay? He's talking and telling you where he's going. The kids think they have spotted me. I thought I'd blend in here. But I cannot let them catch me or my magic will disappear. Is that a unicorn? I think they can fly. I bet they have lots of glitter. I heard they can shrink. Let's catch it. And you can see the rainbow is following him and the glitter and stars are coming out of him. Luckily, my animal friends from the zebra to the ape are all on board to help me. They will sure make sure that I escape. So all the animals are his friends and they're going to help him get away. So those boys and girls can't catch him. First, I see my stripy cousins, but then I'll have to fly. As much as I like lemonade, I have to say goodbye. Who are his stripy friends? Can you see them? The zebra. Both zebras. I dodge the plastic parachute being launched from down below. I do a spin and leave a trail of glitter as I go. Now your art bag may have a little glitter in it, so be careful with that. I chill with all my penguin pals, but these traps are everywhere. I'll head to the nocturnal house. I hope it's safe in there. Nocturnal means the animals that sleep at night. Okay, that's what that means, I think. <laughs> uh oh, I think I turned two pages. Wow, this room is super dark. I'm glad I'm a unicorn. Who knows what I might walk into without my magic horn. Do you see the bats hanging upside down? They sleep in the nighttime. Now, I'm off to see more friends. It's time to shrink to back to my size. But it sure is hard to see in here with all these butterflies. And if you look up in the corner, you'll see he's shrinking down to the right size. And it looks like he's going through the butterfly house. My nose smells something super sweet coming from the cafe. Oh yum, I snag a little bite before I fly away. And the kids don't see him because they're looking at the baby animals. Because there's their little place over there. Hmm, you see the sign? Unicorns eat at that cafe for free. 
Next up, I go to where it's hot and where there's lots of scales. The snakes and lizards help me though with their clever use of tails. And if you see the rainbow, that's where the unicorn spin with the glitter on it. I think you're gonna get to make one of those. Ka-chomp! I'm big again. And with more friends, these monkeys make me laugh, but I would have been caught easily if not for the giraffe. What in the world's a giraffe gonna do? What's over there? A paddle boat. This could be lots of fun. I would stay in the water, but my friends are roaring. Run, says the lion. The little boys and girls are still chasing him. But you see the rainbow? That's where he's going. Right there. It's like a little trail. While visiting my beaver friends, I spy a welcome sight. My true friends come to save the day with their bold, brave beaver bite. Oh my goodness. And he's going into the unicorn castle. The gift shop makes the perfect place for your elaborate trip. But lucky for me, there's a decoy to safely take the raft. Wrap, I'm sorry. A decoy, mmm. I had fun with my friends today. The zoo has been a blast. You tried your best, but your traps were smart, but unicorns are fast. Now it's time for me to go and maybe take a nap. Meanwhile, keep on trying, kids. I'll be back to best your traps. I think that means to beat your traps. And that is the end of our unicorn book. And he tells everybody, better luck next time. He sounds kind of like the book I read about the leprechaun, doesn't he? But that was a great book. I hope you liked it. It was called How to Catch a Unicorn. And it's Miss Terry's personal book, but I know you can buy it on Amazon if you really like it as much as I do. Come and get your craft pack, okay? So you can make a unicorn mask, just a little unicorn picture, and you can make a glitter rainbow and decorate it with cool things that I have for you. Okay, and you'll need your paints and paints will be in the bag and a paintbrush. You have everything you need in the bag. So thank you once again and goodbye.